Hi, it's me, Overreactor. Today we will review what we've learned in section 2.2.2 in the WFTDA rulebook. So here's the rule associated with 2.2.2. It's about lead jammers. Here's the rule. A jammer becomes ineligible to earn lead during a jam if they commit a penalty during that jam, exit the front of the engagement zone without having earned lead, remove their helmet cover, or have their helmet cover removed by a teammate. I feel like it's been pretty, pretty clear that the helmet cover is really important because that's what denotes who the jammer is and who the pivot is. Helmet covers are really important in this game and you need to know that. If your helmet cover has the stars visible and in high contrast and you take it off, you just lost the freedom to be the lead jammer in that jam. No. But if your helmet cover is on inside out and the stars are not in visible contrast, there's some leniency there. Okay, if you put it right side in, all right. Just do your best to get it on properly. Like practice it. Like practice taking the cover off and putting it on. But get like really good at putting it on because that's like a really important part of the game. Also, you have to be careful about this. If you know, yellow is doing such a good job right here holding back the white jammer and they're doing such a good job making sure that the red jammer doesn't get through and then suddenly they knock her down. Okay, so she's down right now. And, and if they say, oh, look, let's go help our jammer or any other reason why they would do this and they skate behind the red jammer and then the red jammer stands up and is now upright inbounds and in play, Guess what? She's the lead jammer. Because when you skated behind her, you gave your position away. You ceded your superior position to the downed red jammer. She stands up, toot toot, lead jammer is gonna come get some points. Also, it doesn't matter if the jammer passes all of the blockers, like she's already passed this pivot, right? But then maybe pivot like sneaks her way through and comes up again to hold the jammer back. That doesn't mean that the jammer can just be the jammer right away. No, because look, she hasn't made it ahead of the whole entire pack. That's not how it works. She has to get around that blocker. Now, let's say she wants to push that blocker, push, 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 out of the engagement zone, bam, now. Now, she can be lead jammer because see, pivot, is not in the engagement zone. She is ahead of the engagement zone. So now yellow can be lead jammer and go get some points, okay? Tricky thing, tricky, tricky, tricky. Let's say something happens and she's pushing on this blocker, this pivot, you know, suddenly something kooky happens to where there is no pack. Can she just become lead jammer without having passed that blocker? No, jammer referees. Please do not bring dishonor upon our stripes by declaring lead jammer in, in a no-pack situation when she has not passed the foremost blocker of the pack. You got